This is a case study of the impact of using investigative learning uh, with the Year 5 class uh, across a whole year. I first met this group of children. Uh, it was on September the 10th. The class teacher was encouraging open-ended learning and reasoning uh, through her use of questions. Questions like, uh, can you find the highest possible answer? Can you find the smallest possible answer? Um, the children were very happy to work through lists of practice examples, um, but they weren't really bothered to try the more challenging questions that the teacher had set. Uh, and this was something that we decided that we really wanted to work on with that group of children. Um, so I began the next lesson with uh, an odd one out starter, one of those questions that has no single right answer. Um, some of the children were very creative with their responses. Some of the children were really defensive um, over their own ideas. Uh, they didn't like being challenged by other children. Um, they thought their idea was the best idea. They had poor strategies to cope with being stuck. They gave up very easily. They had very poor resilience. So reflecting on the lesson, the class teacher decided to kind of empower those children to aim higher, to overcome those barriers, to enjoy the aha moments of discovery uh, and to help them become more involved and more engaged in their learning. Uh, and she uh, pledged to try to achieve this uh, through a focus on higher order thinking skills uh, and really embedding the process of investigation throughout all of her maths teaching. I came back to the class the following May and wow, what a change I saw in their approach to their maths. The sense of defensiveness had gone. I saw children taking ownership over their choice of activity. Uh, they were aiming high, they were thriving on the level of challenge that had been set. I saw children desperate to take part in plenaries, uh, to share their ideas, ready and willing to be challenged by the other children in the class. I saw children being really precise with their reasoning and with their explanations. Over the year then, I saw really clear benefits of doing maths that has no obvious way in, no obvious right answer, of being stuck and developing strategies to cope, of being required to rigorously explain and defend your ideas. To conclude, the children had radically changed their mindset, their approach, uh, to every lesson in maths, not just those involving investigation. Uh, and this had been achieved through the embedded use of investigation, of communication, of reasoning, of higher order thinking skills throughout their maths teaching.